Pierre, first of all, your reaction to the fact that Boris Johnson has delivered a new deal, but it still has to get through Parliament. Well, I would phrase it differently. Uh, Boris Johnson and the 27 countries of the EU have agreed on a new deal. So the merit is on both sides. And I would like to underline that uh, the EU 27 show a lot of openness, a lot, a lot of sense of compromise to agree to this uh, deal in the last minute. What exactly did you compromise upon? Because those parties that were satisfied before and were very inclined to keep things very similar to the way they are for certain constituencies like Ireland and others, they're still happy. But those who weren't satisfied before, like the DUP, more conservative Tories and so on, they're not happy. What did Europe exactly compromise on? Well, we compromised on the fact that uh, we could find a solution that, that there would be no hard border for goods. I think that's uh, the, the news here. And that uh, the Northern Ireland uh, territory can stay part of the uh, UK customs territory on the one hand, and at the same time still have access to the EU single market for a p limited period of four years. So uh, I find it, it's a complex construction, but I think it uh, paves the way for a solution and uh, guarantees a, a complex transital, transitional period that we needed. Minister, good morning. Guy Johnson in London. Good morning. Are you hearing that there is a request coming from London, from Boris Johnson's team, to the EU 27 members to say that there will be no extension in order to put pressure on MPs this weekend to vote for the deal? Well, it's always a very bad idea when outside countries try to put pressure on a member country or an outside country uh, because then you're not rendering yourself a favor and you're probably going to have uh, uh, reciprocally a very negative uh, reaction on the other side. I think everybody has to face its responsibility. The EU27 has done that by showing the sense of compromise. On the other hand, now the ball is in the House of Commons. Now it's up to Boris Johnson to convince the members of parliament that it's better to have a deal than to walk out without. If Boris Johnson drops the ball, and loses the votes this weekend. Do you think an extension would be granted if requested? Well, in that case, first of all, uh, it is up to Boris Johnson, to, do, to the government, to ask uh, for a prolongation uh, of the, uh, the, the delay. Uh, we will consider it. I, I think we've proven, the EU27, that we are extremely open, that we want to avoid a no-deal Brexit because uh, a deal is in the interest of both sides. So I, I would definitely not exclude it uh, from the outside. Talk to us about the complex transitional period that you talk about, because you essentially say there's a four-year period, but actually, given the rules on consent, it seems like this might be a permanent arrangement. Well, I think that's open for debate. What we really need uh, is to use these four years to work out something. Uh, why is the period necessary? Well, the United Kingdom has claimed that they want to uh, negotiate uh, free trade deals with uh, the rest of the world and also organize its relationship with uh, the European Union. So uh, at the end of that period, there will be a much clearer picture of where the United Kingdom stands in, in trade with the rest of the world and uh, Northern Ireland will be in a position to evaluate where it stands. So I think what we, we do here is leave all the possibilities open. Explain to a DUP member, and I realize this is not your immediate job, but explain to a DUP member how this doesn't put some kind of barrier between it and the United Kingdom, which it doesn't want. Well, first of all, uh, you have to make the distinction between goods and services, which has been done in this uh, compromise, which is uh, key. Uh, I think that uh, what uh, we want to do with this deal is build on the experience that has already existed in, on the, in the past, where some goods that were navigating between Northern Ireland and uh, 
the United Kingdom territory were already checked. So we're building uh, on practical cases that existed. So I think that's very reassuring. Uh, now, obviously, one is political gesturing and the other is looking into the interest uh, uh, of, of the country in the context of, of this exit. Minister, if this deal passes, how long will the UK finance sector continue to retain full access to the EU once it's done? Well, I think one, is, one thing is clear, uh, even with the deal, uh, the United Kingdom is uh, losing the automatic and general access to the EU single market. Now, one can regret that, but that was clear from the beginning that the four liberties of the EU single market cannot be divided. On the other hand, if we have a transition period, you can, we can make sure that we have a flawless um, transition period and that uh, business is going to happen in a seamless way. And the uh, provisional agreements that have been done between the Bank of England and European Central Bank can guarantee that. Minister, there was a rather controversial press conference a few weeks ago um, that was meant to have your Prime Minister and Boris Johnson at it. Boris Johnson didn't show up. It was seen as being quite a slap in the face for Boris Johnson, the way that that was conducted. How would you describe relations between Luxembourg and the United Kingdom, between your Prime Minister and the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom right now? Have they improved since then? Well, I think they are sitting in the same room and uh, they are getting over this. I can tell you that I spend a lot of time speaking with my counterpart in the United Kingdom and that the goal for Luxembourg is to continue to work with the City of London. It's an important partner for the financial centre of Luxembourg and it's continuing to going to be a very important one in the future. If I take the investment fund industry, 20% uh, of these funds uh, originate from the United Kingdom. We want to continue to work together and, and that's the, the, the best basis of discussion.